Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Hackett, out. Commander, heard not Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together, or die. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Never good. I'm just keep myself silent there for the uh, sake of Morden. Give his life. Now go back and get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here. There goes that kid. Been worse about Morden though. Much worse. open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? It's fine. Tell me what's going on. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the calm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Never a break. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative. 
Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Why bring this to me? Put Citadel security on it. You are a human and relatively neutral politically. Your backing would help me ease through... Well, let's not speak of it now. Come to the Citadel and grant me a moment of your time. You may find it interesting. Valorant out. Hmm. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Well, let's get him as well. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? The good news is we're managing to win in some sectors. The bad news is we're losing in others. I'm encouraged by our order of battle, though. It seems to be working. We just need to stick to it and pick up the pace. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. Had that female Krogan you rescued survived, she might have rallied more support from the clans, but I'll take what we can get. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatrass didn't get her way. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. The good news is about uh, if the Yarg survive, is those guys are dangerous. Seriously. They probably stand a real chance against the Reapers alone. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evrun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. What a shame, as Date J.C. Denton would put it. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth water, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. So two deaths. Heroic in different ways. But preventable. Not too sure. Wow, we have a lot of military strength suddenly from the Krogan. And not Rex, Krogan clans, and heard not. Hmm.
Right. Okay, death is an excuse, but it could be a lot worse. I remember meeting the ambassador from Clan Knackmore uh, in the second game. It was quite rude. Okay. Krogan mercenaries. Yay! They're seeing hope again. Of course, this is probably going to really hurt us in uh, after the war in terms of galactic peace, but well rampaging Krogan are far less of a problem than Reapers. We have the 43rd Marine Division, Turret 7th Fleet Fleet up now. Showing the crystal safety to an engineering corps. Tech engineers. Just as good, if not better, than human stuff. Well, human lines engineering corps is better, but I imagine the Turians are only sending on a portion of their forces. Wow, N7 special ops team. Okay. Kalisa. I like how Kalisa been seen in the army is worth more than Diana Allers, despite her being on embedded on our ship. But yeah, that's 450, I'm pretty sure, is from um, multiplayer. Just, uh, yeah, six characters upgraded translates to 75 assets each to 450. So yeah, I'm pretty confident we'll hit the maximum number of assets in this playthrough. Pretty confident. Taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Interesting. Mm. So. Yeah, that's you notifying about the N7 Special Ops. <laughs> Unofficial nickname. A regrettable decision. Capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Oh. Slur and Yuna will be among their first targets. Well, that's. That's the breaks. This is a dark day not only for my people, but also all of galactic civilization. <laughs> well, you can stuff that message well into your cloaca, because uh, quite frankly, what you asked us to do was completely morally reprehensible to uh, Shepard's mind. Making babies again will be fun. Impressive work, General Corinthus. Hey, good to hear that he's still alive at least. And still fighting, Shala. Aha! fight the reefers we feel each other right with one mind. Hmm, interestingly the foreign protects against the reapers. Interesting to hear from her. A group of colonists on Pharos have mounted a defensive against driving reaper forces. Ah, so let's relate to that. Huh. So 
that's what we get for saving that colony. Well, I've done gunning them all down. Oh, they're a war asset too. Thanks for reading that message. Joker and Edie will surely have something to say about what just went down. Oh, and Garrus right, is here. My turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterwards. <laughs> How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? <laughs> Figuring out which side took the rocket. Huh. I'm just going to have some levity after Morden's death. Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. If not for him, we wouldn't have the Krogan Alliance. He'll have a hell of a tombstone. Cured the genophage. With a little asterisk and then at the bottom it'll say, which he also created. <laughs> I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. To be honest, I did it so the Krogan would help your people. And believe me, it won't be forgotten. Our fleets will be there for Earth. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. <laughs> Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Yeah. Let's hope our luck holds. 